All right, at this time now, it, it's, it's my honor to introduce Gene Bicknell. And as you may have already seen out in the lobby, the beautiful etched photo of Gene and Rita. And it briefly describes their commitment to the community and to the university. But I'm telling you, you cannot do that in a paragraph or two. It's just not possible. And if I were to try to describe all of the, their acts of kindness and generosity, we'd be here until dark, I'm just telling you. Countless times, Gene and Rita have stepped forward and supported the university. In fact, Gene has quite a record of knowing and working directly with PSU presidents over the years. I'll let him tell you just how many he's known. And I'm sure each of those presidents has appreciated his counsel and more, most importantly, his friendship. I certainly have. My relationship with Gene, with Gene has grown over the past few years. You may not know it, but we both uh, came out of Baxter Springs. How about that? Pretty neat. So did Lee Scott, and so did Ivan out of Columbus, out of Cherokee County. So Cherokee County had a major influence on this facility, I would say. But we've really grown close. As we've called on donors together, we've played golf together, we've broken bread together, exchanged texts and emails and phone calls. I'd walk by the building when I was exercising and take a picture of the building and text it to Gene. One day I wrote, Gene, I'm so excited about the building, I can't hardly stand it. I'm surprised he didn't send me a sedative, actually. <laughs> but through all of that, I've come to admire Gene, to care about him, and even to love him. Not for what he's done for PSU, but for who he is. And today, And today, his generosity, his spirit, his deep love for family and friends, his commitment to this institution, and his persistence all are evident in this amazing facility. What a tribute this structure is to his life, to his ways, and to his character. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium Mr. Gene Bicknell. Gene. You didn't have to quit so soon. <laughs> 600 donors, 636 I think you said. That's amazing. You know, it, uh, it's a great opportunity for all of us. We're certainly proud and honored to be a part of it. Um, I think I mentioned this to Dr. Bryant uh, years ago. But um, right now I'd like to introduce my family, if you don't mind. Would my family stand up, please? <clears throat> and the one that keeps me in line stands over here on the, sits over on the right. You know, 30 years a long time. We waited a long time for this. At least we didn't have to wait for Moses. <laughs> but I remember the last hall that was here, and I've appeared on that stage several times, and just look at this. I mean, in our visions for this opportunity, I never really quite conceived it to be this grandeur. And this didn't just happen with one person or a group of people, it, it happened with all of you. And I thank you for that and hooking on with us, and you did it. You know, this community, the Pittsburgh State team, you know, the students, their contributions and their commitment, <clears throat> the alumni and the friends that we have at this university, and. The relationship of PSU in this community is, it's, uh, and, and the friends and supporters that it has, you know, it's, it really surpasses one's imagination. Now, I was asked one time by another university to come and talk to them about the relationship between Pittsburgh and the community. And they asked me uh, if I could explain that. And I, you know, I couldn't explain it, you know, I, other than it's magical. 
And uh, having led almost every campaign in this community, and many campaigns, and most of the campaigns since I've been around at Pittsburgh State, it always amazes me that, that uh, how they always come through and meet their goals, whether it's the YMCA or the United Way, whatever it is, or campaigns here through the years. You know, the first time we did the annual fund drive, I said, you know, someday that'll raise $40,000 a year. <laughs> well, you know, shows how far off I was. I, I mean, <laughs> 10, 20 million a year is not bad, and, and uh, it keeps growing every year, so our alumni have been wonderful, and the people that care about us is wonderful, and really what a partnership we have, and uh, what caring for others and their needs. I mean, that's so obvious, and so, and just what about Pittsburgh State and Dr. Scott's team? You know, what about that? What about his team? What about the students? And what about the, uh, what about the alumni and the friends and the people who are willing to deep into the, dip into their pockets and come up with the funds that we can make these accomplishments? 600 donors, think about that. You know, this state, Ken, and this region, you know, we have a university here that, that uh, is excelling in economic development, that helps in economic development. We have academic excellence here and some research and a new doctorate degree. We have scholars that go out and accomplish th great things in the world. Lee Scott became president of Walmart. You know, we have years of, of uh, accomplishing all of this without a performing arts center. I think we're the only one in the MIAA that didn't have one. And now we do. But we're not done yet. We still have a few things to finish here and we're still gonna be asking people to come up and, and uh, help us and contribute to our funds that will complete this building. And on March the 12th, we're gonna have a uh, concert here and we couldn't afford to bring a big name in, so we thought, so you're going to get me. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but with the talent we have as represented here, what a great group. I think there's going to be about 95 or 100 of them. And with the orchestration and the symphony and, the, and all that we'll have from Rawl, we have enough local talent, enough singers that we can make this happen. And don't miss it. It's going to be good. So here it is. It's yours. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you come back many times. And, uh, and again, my heartfelt thanks to all of you, and especially people that haven't even graduated from this university or gone to this university have come through for us in, in, in a big way. And I'm just so grateful to all of you. And, uh, I'm humbled to be here, and those kind remarks, uh, Steve, uh, may keep me a little bit flattered here, so thank you for that, and thanks for all of you.